Morning, Kellyanne. Morning, Kellyanne. It doesn't, it doesn't reopen the government for Homeland Security. How in the world can we talk about funding the federal government and omit Homeland Security, it which keeps, keeps us all safe? Uh, Kristen, this president ran on and will continue to govern on border security. Uh, you can say wall all you want. You can make it a four-letter word. Nancy Pelosi can ignore. Yesterday, they just ignored and interrupted and was frankly, were frankly just very rude and dismissive of our Secretary of Homeland Security, our Director of Customs and Border Patrol, our Director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. If we're going to talk about bipartisanship and a, a democracy, a Washington that works, you just can't ignore the facts and the figures that somebody are trying to present to you that's coming from your own government. Government. So that was that was some um, really poor form, but the president has graciously invited them back here tomorrow, and uh, hopefully they'll come recognizing that border security is not a partisan issue. It's a nonpartisan issue, starving for bipartisan solutions. But um, as I he heard the president say in the cabinet room yesterday, fifty-four billion dollars or so in the Pelosi bill for foreign aid and nothing for border security? That just makes no sense. It makes no sense to Americans who know border security is national security. Nancy Pelosi just told Savannah Guthrie, I think that is an open discussion when asked if Robert Mueller can indict the president. Your reaction? I don't have a reaction to that. We've complied with the Mueller investigation. Um, millions of pieces of paper, dozens of witnesses, as I'm, as I'm told. She didn't rule out impeachment. Do you want to respond to that? Does that concern you? Does that concern the president? It doesn't. No, it doesn't concern the president. Uh, she obviously came here yesterday, not serious about border security, so it doesn't surprise me that she would be so partisan and political on uh, day one. That's just too bad because we need a fully functioning democracy. She has a pretty narrow majority. She has a left wing ready to rebel about her rules changes, um, wasn't even assured that she was going to be the speaker uh, until recently because so many of them ran running against her. So she'll have a, a pretty narrow majority to deal with um, and she's going to have to, I think, look across the aisle for some things as well. Hopefully she will, but she also has about 33 members who are coming in who ran in districts or won in districts that Trump won or came close to winning that are traditionally held by Republicans. And so she has to deal with both sides of that. I think it's unfortunate that um, you've got a, an incoming speaker already talking about indictments and impeachment when this president is talking about border security and infrastructure. So we see some of the Democrats making joyful noises about infrastructure and keeping the economy humming, and hopefully we can rely upon them. Well, the president wants the government to reopen, but he also wants border security. We can have a fully functioning Washington if we have leaders in the House and Senate who aren't even willing to listen to the facts and figures. You have to start there. And and the president, again, has them coming back tomorrow, and I hope that they'll get serious about negotiating. What do you hope to accomplish tomorrow then? Well, hopefully they'll come back and they'll realize that border security is a nonpartisan issue. It just has to be seen the way other issues have been seen. I don't know what's partisan about border security. I don't know what's partisan about a sovereign nation that has spent billions of dollars over decades to help other nations secure its borders to, to, to protect its sovereignty, doing the same here. Um, and this is not a campaign promise so much as it is the president's solemn duty. When he, he swore to keep us safe, this is how he sees it. But that, again, I can't emphasize enough, should be a, a nonpartisan issue starving for bipartisan solutions. And I hope people honestly will come to the table and think about the best ways the best ways to do that. So thank you all very Thanks much. Have a great thank day. You. We have some events. Public events? Oh, I don't know about that.